Hey, what's up guys? In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to get pictures or video from your iPhone to your Mac, whether it's an iMac or it's a MacBook Pro. So let's get started. So there's gonna be two major ways that you can transfer files from your phone to your computer, and you have to decide how much volume or the size of the files that you're going to be transferring, in my opinion, or how much time you have. If you're going to do it through AirDrop, it's pretty quick, but if you really are gonna be doing a large amount of files, I would go with the lightning cable. So first off, let's start off with the airdrop setting and I'll show you guys how to transfer with airdrop, but you have to check this one setting first. So to make sure airdrop is gonna work between your phone and computer, double check your airdrop settings. So you can do that by hitting the settings button, going down to general, and then clicking on airdrop. And you'll see here the three options, receiving off contacts only or everyone. So I'm not sure necessarily that you have your computer as a contact in your phone. So you might wanna select everyone if you're having an issue. Just be cautious that selecting everyone can sometimes open you guys up to having strangers send you pictures and stuff like that or attempt to send you pictures. So just be mindful of that. But if you're having issues, check this setting. Okay, so now that you guys double check those settings, go to your photo, select a photo that you want to import or transfer. You're gonna hit this little box with the arrow coming out of it. Once you hit that, you're gonna see your airdrop here. But you might run into this strange issue where you'll be sitting in front of your computer, you know your computer's on, you know your airdrop is sitting here, nothing seems to be happening, it doesn't seem to be finding it. Go over here to your computer, click on your finder window, and just double click on airdrop as well. It seems to kind of wake up the airdrop or whatnot, but once you do that, you'll see it'll populate here on your phone. You can hit it here. It's gonna come back to your computer and ask what you wanna do with it. So do you wanna open it in photos or accept it? If you click accept, it's gonna save it to your download folder. Or if you click open photos, obviously it's gonna take it over there. So it's up to you, but that's how you would bring a file in. This same method works if you wanna do more than one picture or video. So you can scroll back and forth or you can select more than one and you can do multiple with this exact same method. So that's probably the easiest way that you can transfer files from your phone to your computer. But if you don't want to do it that way or you have larger files, I would suggest using a lightning cable plugging into your phone. So let me show you that method. So once you have the lightning cable plugged into your phone, you can go over here to the launch pad, open this up and you might have to dig a little bit. It's usually in other and you will see image capture. So right here, image capture. So open image capture and then select your iPhone from here. So you're gonna see it's gonna ask you to unlock your iPhone. Since mine is just that, you just look at mine. So it's unlocked, it'll populate all your pictures and videos there. You can select which videos and pictures you wanna import. If you wanna import more than one or just certain ones, hold down command and you can select certain ones. So hold command and click on the ones that you want and then you can save it to the folder of your choice. So you can save to downloads, click import, or if you wanna import every single picture and video, there's that option there for you as well. And that's pretty much it. All right guys, so I hope you found this information helpful. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Also consider subscribing. We have a lot of informative videos on the way and a lot already on the channel. So definitely consider subscribing. Anyways guys, thanks for watching. One more quick tip that I will leave you with just before we go is make sure your Wi-Fi and Bluetooth is turned on if you're gonna attempt the airdrop and that way they can communicate because if you don't have those on or you're connected to a different network, sometimes it won't necessarily see it, but just make sure your Wi-Fi and Bluetooth are both turned on. All right guys, see you in the next one.